a, a day of mixed emotions for me. It's certainly a, a day to be very happy and thankful about what's ahead of us at the sod turning for the Bruce Highway for Section D. Uh, it's, a, it's a day also for a lot of us and people here, including the Mayor, who I acknowledge, and former policeman Glenn Hartwig, it's a day also for remembering some of the people that aren't with us and some of the people who are, live a very, very different life as a result of serious injury uh, by this road that we're, we're going to replace and fix uh, with a brand new 30 kilometre section of top quality, safe road. It's uh, what, we're, what we're building here, it truly is world-class nation building infrastructure, something that Queensland should be proud of. And I do acknowledge the Minister and the $200 million of state government money that's going into this billion dollar project. And uh, obviously there's an $800, $800 million commitment from the Commonwealth. I really do want to say, uh, as I said before, this, this is a day of mixed emotions. Uh, there have been so many people. We fought as a community to get this bypass. And we fought hard because many of us have been touched by the tragedy that this road brings. I know as an ex-copper, I'd seen it too much. And my mates, my colleagues, former colleagues, still see it as they go north. Uh, and we're fixing that. Uh, I, and I pay tribute to those people. The Ambos, the Fireys, and the police. I pay tribute to them for the work that they do. So it is a good day. It is mixed with mixed emotions that I'm here. Uh, it feels like the end of a the end of a battle, but the war goes on. The war to stop trauma on our roads, to build the best roads that we can. We need to acknowledge our wins. We are doing some great things in road safety. Uh, you know, our, our fatality rate, we need to strive to improve. We're sort of treading water there. We're doing some good work. There's some incredible people working so hard to bring that down. One thing we need to acknowledge is there's an elephant in the room and it's serious injuries on our roads. Whereas the fatality rate has come down, serious injuries have gone up. And we need to continue the fight to bring that down. Because some of these, these accidents and collisions cause such devastation, uh, a lifetime of rehabilitation and, and lives destroyed. So we need to always fight we need, where possible, to build roads like this as our national highway. Now, the Minister and I have had a recent discussion and disagreement over the Tyro Bypass. This is a brand new section of our nation's highway, nine kilometres between here and Maryborough. If we're building a brand new section of highway with 10,000 move, car movements on it every day. We should be building it like this. We shouldn't be building it to a two lane standard. Now I I called I, I called the, the both the ministers out on the initial plan and I had a response from Minister Bailey saying there would be some separation, he would put separation of the two lanes in. I'm yet to find out what that plan is, and I really am going to be very interested. But it's not this. This was the worst highway in Australia. This highway was killing more people than anyone, and now it's fatality free. Why aren't we building this? Why are we building a half a highway outside of Tyro? The people of Wide Bay have sent me to do a job. I come here with my life experiences and I'm not going to accept half a highway around Tyro. Now the Minister and I have a different view of this, as does the Federal Minister. But there will be a toll. 
there will be a toll. So the road that's proposed now, even with the dividing barrier, compared to this, there will be a statistical toll. There will be more people who will suffer because we haven't built this just up the road. That's what we need to do. It's not good enough. What's planned outside Tyro is not good enough. It betrays a vision of zero fatalities. It does betray a vision of zero fatalities. This is the national highway. We have to do everything we can. I'm sorry, I don't feel like it's a shiny shovel day today. I don't feel like it's a day to celebrate because there's a lot of work to do. We've just got to build this road and then build the Tyro bypass to the same standard as this.